everyone, Joe here with Good Vault Games, and I wanted to talk briefly about Bloomboro. So I'm recording this Wednesday morning, it's about two days before pre-release, and we got our stuff in yesterday. So this is what we got behind us here. It's about $20,000 worth of uh, Bloomboro. We don't sell a lot of boxes online, it's mostly for uh, local guys. I don't order to sell on TC Player. Some of you may or may not know. There's not really a lot of markup in sealed product for Magic, especially new releases, if it's not one of those like premium type products. Standard releases. So after 15% fees on T-Shirt Player, you, you, you just don't make a lot of money. And unless I'm willing to spend thousands of dollars on boxes to make $5 a box, it doesn't make a lot of sense to sell them on T-Shirt Player. So I just order for local guys. We get to open some. So it's just what we got right here. This is about... 12 play boosters and six collector boosters. We did pull like three, three of the, oh, there we go. Oh, nope. There, maybe like that. Get it in front of my face so I'll focus. Three of the ray spoils. So I don't know if that means that the pull rates are going to be higher than what I kind of, what everybody's kind of saying they're going to be. Let's put, oh yeah, it looks cool right there. If they're going to be higher than what people think they're going to be or not. I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait till the end of the weekend, see what people say the pull rates actually are. But I got to inventory all of this today. So that way we can put it online and people can pre-order. Now we do sell singles on TC Player and pre-release weekend, if you're fairly up to date on your pricing, you can sell quite a few singles online, but you pretty much have to update every hour. And sometimes you get busy and don't want to do that. But I got a game store to run. Uh, let me pause the video right here. We're going to set you up somewhere else. I'm going to load this machine up so we can keep talking. So something I noticed with the pull rates when we were opening boxes was we pulled a total of eight Three Tree Cities out of 18 boxes. So I kind of thought it's at rare level. So I kind of assumed you'd hit them a little more frequently. I, I would have thought we'd have hit 12 at 18. Not every box, of course, but you know, a little bit more often than every other box. I think the pricing on them are, are depending on the treatment, is anywhere from in the low 30s to almost 40, 45, at least a pre-release. If everybody's going to need one, like our commander players are talking about needing one, that price could bump up a bit if those numbers hold. All right. We got the machine doing its thing, so that's going to take about an hour or two to, to run, and we'll get the next one running. We've probably got six more of those to run to get all that inventory. Talk a little bit about the seal box pricing. I'm seeing play boxes on T-Sheet Player. At like 147 this morning. Now this is two days before pre-release, and collector boosters are about uh, the 220 or I mean 230 to 235. Those numbers, the collector box numbers seem about right. We're selling our collector booster boxes at 229 in shop, but the play boxes seem a little high. We're doing uh, 139 in shop, TCG player at 147. That's not including fees or shipping. I just feel like that's kind of high for a standard set. I don't know. Every distributor that we have that I've talked to has play boxes to order right now. They're not out of stock. I don't think they're going to be out of stock. I don't see any issue with you finding play boxes. So paying 140, 145, 150 seems a little high for a play box in a standard set. So I'd kind of be careful about that. I think pre-release is going to be a lot of fun. We've had a lot of people talk about coming out. Uh, this this kind of set has a lot of fun feel to it. It could be one of those sets that uh, brings people out that haven't played Magic in a while. But I've also heard some people talking about their girlfriends wanting to start doing it. Because they saw, you know, planeswalkers turn into cute animals. Things like that. You know, carn into a tree. That's kind of fun. So I'm excited about it. It should be a lot of fun. I hope everybody has a great time. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.